<laughs> Hello and welcome. Welcome to Christmas Caribbean Delights. Um, as you know, everybody is looking for healthier options these days where, where food is concerned. Um, you're looking for less starch, you're looking for more greens, you're looking for, you know, more uh, fiber, you're looking for, you know, all the, the healthy options that you can, uh, that you can have. So, and one, uh, one, th one idea I would like to share is that my healthy options, I choose the favorite sides, the favorite things that I will order as a side dish. Um, okay, it's a salad. Uh, or it's a, or it's chickpeas or it's uh, fried uh, not fried but um, but a baked good you know something uh, maybe a little um, polenta or or something like that um, or you know your asparagus your your um, broccoli your Brussels sprouts you know, however you want them, you know, whether it's roasted, whether it's uh, steamed or whatever. And you combine that with, uh, with, with another, um, another side and you can make a main meal. Like for instance, um, I love chickpeas. So I'm going to combine chickpeas with some asparagus and some broccoli and some beans and carrots and I steam those and I have my curried chickpeas on the side. So, and this idea came from a friend of mine who, who, who uh, was looking for, uh, for healthier options and she, uh, she, we, we were exchanging ideas and, and this one just popped out and it, it was delicious. She did it and it was delicious. So I'm going to do the same thing with a little, with, with a little twist uh, and we'll come up with a very good healthy option for either brunch, dinner, lunch. Or any, any any time you want to enjoy that uh, that you know that type of meal, are uh, looking for healthy options. Before further ado, let me show you the ingredients that I'll be using for this healthy option meal. So actually, I'm going to be doing some uh, some chickpeas, some curried chickpeas. So this is the stuff for my curry. This I have. We have to get some some chickpeas first of all, and um, right over here there's some garam masala. Some garam masala here. I used uh, it's the chief brand, and some cumin seeds. Cumin seeds and turmeric. Some turmeric powder. A little turmeric powder, about a tablespoon, and some curry powder over here. Um, some hot red pepper that I about a tablespoon I love my heat some garlic and here we go so we have some curry powder over here the curry powder the turmeric powder uh, hot red peppers garlic ginger onions and the chickpeas so and we're gonna also add some salt event salt uh, uh, a salt uh, component and also um, we'll see what else we need to put in there but um, right now this is these are the basic ingredients for your curry uh, so I'm going to do some curry chickpeas let's get started with the chickpeas and we'll heat our pan and we'll be back First of all, let's get our chickpeas uh, prepared. Now, there's this, I op just opened this can of chickpeas and you know, there's a liquid in there which you have to drain. We'll drain that liquid out. We just drain that liquid out and I'll give it a little rinse. We just, I'll just rinse it under the, uh, under the sink, under the water, some nice cold water. Right, just give it a rinse, rinse that, uh, Oh, whatever preservatives they may have, uh, you know, they may put in there uh, to keep it. And then I pour that into a into a bowl here. Once it's drained, and there we are. So now my my skillet here is getting is it's heating up. Um, 
just get it nice and hot and we can start putting over aromatics in there. I just put these packages away whilst that is heating up. And so here we're going to, I'm going to add first my onions, garlic and ginger, and get my red peppers in there too, okay, along with the cumin seeds. I love to have the cumin seeds parched, but this other stuff, I'm going to mix it all together before I put it in there. That's the curry powder, the garam masala, and the turmeric powder. I just mix that up. So give this uh, about a minute or so. Just let it cook. That the ginger infuse the oil and the onions and the garlic and the pepper just get everything infused and i'll be back so and the other side of this dish whilst my onions and stuff are cooking we can talk about this i have some broccoli here asparagus uh some french beans and some and a few carrots i'm not making a, a big batch because it's just myself um, and I have one scallion here which I'll do. These I'm going to steam. I'm going to steam and um, they're all going to be steamed and seasoned and steamed in some uh, in some bouillon water. Okay, so before further ado, we'll just go back to our curry and we'll continue. Right, so I just added the, the, the curry, the curry, the powder, the turmeric powder, the curry powder, and the garam masala into the onions. And this is going to cook for at least a minute again. Got to cook that curry. So we're going to cook this all here for about a minute before we put our chickpeas in there. Now, whilst we're doing that, we need to season. So you get like a half a teaspoon of bouillon powder in there. All right. Ouch. Some complete seasoning. That's all for flavor. And we just let this cook. Just let this. So now that uh, my curry paste has mixed, as I uh, cooked pretty pretty well, I just incorporate my chickpeas. chickpeas yeah and uh, once this is all coated and it's cooked for a little bit we just put a little bit of water in there like two tablespoons of water Just to give it some, get it moist and steam the chickpeas through. You see, because um, you don't, have, the chickpeas is already cooked, 
So you just need to heat it through. And once your curry, uh, your curry com components are cooked, like the onions are cooked, the peppers are cooked, you just need to heat it through. Give it a taste. Perfect. The perfect curry chickpeas. It's awesome. Just a little pin, a pinch of salt to brighten it up. Okay, so this is good. I just put this in a platter here. The lovely curry chickpeas. Now, we set that aside and we're gonna go <coughs> To our veggies. What I want to do with the veggies, here's your, your uh, asparagus. When you're buying asparagus, you need, it comes in, it's, it's, it's longer than this, but when you break it, it should be, it should break without any, any, uh, any problem, you know, you, then you know you're, you're, it's fresh, and it's, uh, that's the, the part that you really want to, uh, to cook. In the same uh, curry uh, thing, I'm going to put place my asparagus in there, my beans, and my uh, and my carrots, and with about two tablespoons of water, I will just bring this back up. I have seasons in there already. The little curry is going to carry over and uh, carry over to the to the steaming. So you're going to just let that go for a, for a minute, and then I'm going to add going to add me some complete seasoning. That's the complete seasoning. No more heat, but just the little bullion bullion powder about a half a teaspoon of bullion powder and we just need to let this go just let that go for a little bit it's gonna go for about 30 seconds or so and then I'll be back <clears throat> okay so we're just going I just added maybe this is what about a half a teaspoon half a tablespoon of butter got to give it some flavor I added some onions in there along with the carrots and we're just going to saute this until it gets uh, tender I always put the broccoli in last And another two tablespoons of water in there. All right, and that's all you need 
and all you need is a cover. Slap a cover on there for about two or three minutes and it will be back. So here we are. My healthy option dish with the curry chickpeas, asparagus, broccoli, some carrots, baby carrots, and some French beans, um, and sautéed onions. So it's the curried chickpeas with some sautéed vegetables, and that's it. And these are favorites. Uh, broccoli, broccoli is a favorite. You use some broccoli, use some cabbage, use use whatever is your favorite, and just put it together and you have a wonderful um a wonderful option a healthy option for your lunch your dinner or you know the entire family and those who uh, are not really uh, into the healthy options you can add a piece of meat there you can add a piece of uh, roasted something or um you know broiled chicken chicken breasts or whatever you know it, and just make it your own so once again uh thanks for watching and uh i hope to see you in the next clip and thank you be safe